A newscaster in Mexico was on the air when the earthquake hit. When the studio started shaking, he left quickly in search of a safe place. The station's cameras caught what was happening outside. And back in the studio, heavy lights shook wildly, a good reason not to be under them. Dr. Lucy Jones is a renowned seismologist who spent years with the U.S. Geological Survey. Dr. Jones, this was a smaller quake than the one that hit Mexico earlier in the month, but it appears to be doing significantly more damage. This earthquake, it's smaller, but it's closer to many more people. So where the 8.2 was offshore and at a depth of 40 miles down, uh, this is only 80 miles from Mexico City and uh, about 30 miles down and with a lot of people nearby. Proximity makes a big difference. I noticed on Twitter that you said that part of the, the problem here is that uh, Mexico City has what you call bad soil, that the soil in Mexico amplifies the shaking. What do you mean? Well, that's right. Well, so Mexico City is built on an aban uh, a dry lake bed. So there was a lake there, it dried out, it left behind these sediments that are very, very loose. And so when the seismic waves come through them, they, the, the loose soil slows them down, but they still have all that energy, so they have to get bigger to carry that loose soil. Here in downtown Los Angeles, we have about a factor of five amplification because of soils. In Mexico City, it's over a factor of 100 so that they have had huge damage even from earthquakes that are hundreds of miles away. This one is much closer than the 85 earthquake that did so much damage. Dr. Lucy Jones, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me.